In this video, we're going to be working with conversions. We're going to be converting milliliters and tablespoons and back again. Here's our first example. We're going to convert four tablespoons into how many milliliters? Here's our conversion factor, but we're not going to use this one. We're going to use an approximation where one tablespoon equals 15 milliliters. We begin with our example, four tablespoons. We're going to insert our conversion factor and remember we're going to multiply or divide by the number one just to change a label. So we have our conversion factor again. We're going to turn that into a ratio, 15 milliliters over tablespoons. This equals one. And we're going to move to our chart. We're going to multiply that conversion factor into our four tablespoons. Notice what we're converting to is on top, the milliliters. Again, we're inserting one label in an effort to cancel out another label. We're trying to cancel out the tablespoons. So those cancel out. We clear those out of the, out of the problem. So we have four times 15 milliliters. We're going to go ahead and multiply that. That gives us 60. So that's our solution. So four tablespoons equals 60 milliliters. Let's go through another example. We have milliliters that we're going to convert to tablespoons. So let's convert 60 milliliters into how many tablespoons? We begin with our 60 milliliters. Again, we insert our conversion factor. We know that the tablespoons equal 15 milliliters. We're going to put that into a ratio. We're going to have the tablespoons on top this time. Remember, this equals one. So we have the 60 milliliters. We're going to multiply our conversion factor. Notice again, what we're converting to is on top. We're canceling out the milliliters this time. So now we have the 60 and we're going to multiply across into the tablespoons. Now we divide the 15. So we end up with four tablespoons. So that's our solution. So four tablespoons equals 60 milliliters. And that's the end of our example. Thanks.